turn to round one. Let's see how this pile does. <coughs> there we go. Get paired right away. Play first. Sounds good. That looks like a keep to me. Probably get an island and like maybe a swamp with Kadama's Reach, something like that. <clears throat> um, all right, we'll start off on Inquisition, I guess. And I guess we should play Sun Pepper Grove because that will come in tapped. All right. Um, yeah, I think Counterspell is probably the pick here. Force of Will and Future Sight, good to know about. Probably just going to play Harbinger. Yep, okay, so we can... Um, I guess we'll Kadama's reach this turn, and then next turn we can Colgan's Command that if we want. I'm assuming this doesn't get forced. Yeah, all right. Um, <coughs> so we already have black and red, and double green, and white. So we really don't need any more besides that island. I guess... I guess we'll get another black source. Yeah, that makes sense, I think. Um, so we'll put the island in tap just to kind of bluff, um, potentially being a blue deck. When really we're only playing Nico Bolas. I should probably be eliminating these cards. Um, okay, so Future Sight is actually going to do some pretty solid work against us. We're going to want to try to, if we can, make our opponent discard that before they can cast it, but that doesn't seem likely. Yeah, I think we'll just... I think we should just call against command here. I'm guessing they're not going to force, but... I could see it happening. Yeah, they let it happen. And they discarded force. Okay. Interesting. And then I think that island wasn't there, and then Flicker Wisp is gone. All right, so, oh, nice, great draw. It's exactly what we wanted to draw, especially because they discarded Force of Will. So let's do this. Um, we only have to do it for two, and we can leave up the ultimate price, so we will do that. And also play around something like Miscalc here. And I guess... Yeah, we can just ultimate price now, or we can take it and then Dragon Lord kills the Flicker Wisp. So yeah, we should probably do that. Is this monocolored? No, it's not. I think it's worth taking three though here, because um, we get to cast Dragon Lord next turn, so it's just keeping the ultimate price in hand. Yeah. All right, let's play this. And we're looking pretty ahead in this game. Um, obviously, the opponent could draw stuff to kill us, but yeah, doesn't look like they are. Obnixilis is great. We will draw a card with him. Looks like our opponent maybe is conceding. Yeah, okay, cool. That was pretty lucky to draw the Rakdos' return there, but we could have definitely put the opponent's life total under pressure with the Atarka before they could actually kill us with, um, or just like overwhelm us with card advantage from Future Sight. I don't see much that we want to board here. Um, there's not really anything specific going on in our opponent's deck that we want to metagame against, so we're just going to go back into it. Looks like a keep to me. Alright, lead off on a scrubland, try to get black sources in play. 
sun petal is untapped now. Fingerback for one, sure. Island is not a black source, so a little bit disappointing, but um, yeah, I think we'll just go. We could go with Island to bluff white counter spells. I think we'll do that. I don't think there's any downside really. I don't think we have double green. I guess we have Corsair, so maybe we should have not played the island. Yeah, that was probably wrong, I think. Um, so the question is whether we want to Coalition Relic or Kodama's Reach here. I think it's Kodama's Reach because we don't need the ramp for two next turn, and this is somewhat likely to get countered. All right, it doesn't get countered. So we want a black source, and we pretty much have everything else we want. I might just get two black sources, actually, just in case one of them gets destroyed. I think that's probably the safe play. And we'll pass the turn. Next turn, we can play Relic and Liliana, which should be good. I mean, Liliana isn't great against this center back, but that's okay. Um, plus, she's good to just make the opponent discard. So we could also just play Corsair here, Relic into Corsair. Well, I guess we can't do that kind of simultaneously. Um, so I'm probably just going to use Liliana as more of a discard spell here than anything, since we're up on resources so much. So we're going to go Relic into Liliana. Oops. This way, not the other way. And then next turn, Relic can add two mana, essentially. Like, the turn after next, I mean. Um, and can play Nicol Bolas for us, which should be very good. And we'll discard a Forest here, I think. Actually, we could discard a Swamp. Alright, then Liliana gets hit down to 1, which we are fine with, and we just use her as another discard and another soaking up of damage. Actually, we could play Corsair and then just block next turn, that's also decent. I mean, I'm assuming the opponent, the opponent is going to play something, though. Ojitai, yeah, that's a pretty good one. And we can't exactly force a sacrifice with the Lily. <clears throat> uh, okay, so this turn we want to lead on Corsair, see if we get to draw a card. We do not. We will play Blood Crypt tapped, gain a life, make each player discard. We will discard Forest, seems decent. And then plan on adding to Coalition Relic the next turn. Um, if the opponent attacks Dragon Lord on Liliana, we can um, let Liliana die and then steal it or. Um, exile it. If the opponent attacks us, then we can potentially Nico Ball us, steal, hang steal Hanger Back Walker, and make them sack Dragon Lord. Um, obviously, depending on what they do, but that would also be pretty sweet. Let's see what happens here. I'm guessing. Ojitai comes at Liliana. That's my best guess. But it could, it could come at us. Yeah, it, it attacks Liliana. Fair enough. Liliana dies. Hopefully the opponent taps out for some big thing. Doesn't happen. Alright, so that makes our plays a little bit more interesting next turn. We're definitely going to add a counter to Coalition Relic. And then we are going to be able to play a land. We can add, I don't know, something like red, I guess, play a land, see what's on top of our library, and I'm guessing the opponent has a counterspell here, so I'm going to lead on Nahiri. If this resolves, we're still in very good shape, um, just because uh, we get to kill Dragonlord, and if it doesn't, then we shouldn't have played Nicobolas this turn, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, Force of Will seems appropriate, and we'll leave back Corsair to block the hanger back, and pass the turn. If the opponent has enough counterspells to deal with us uh, this game, that'll be a problem. But if they don't, we should be able to get ahead with Nicole. Good old Nicole. Let's see what they reveal. They just started upheaval. It's interesting. Interesting that they're playing upheaval in this kind of deck. Hopefully this is a tap out. It is not, so we're likely facing against another counter spell. But I think because it's not as obvious this time, we're just gonna have to run Nicole Bolas out. Um, Show the ladder red. 
play this off the top. Of course, was drawing us cards up the wazoo. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are two mana, so we're two mana away from casting Sorin um, after this. But I think we just have to go for this here. I don't want to take another five and give the opponent another card. I'm hoping that they just have something like a Sphinx's Revelation. Yeah, it looks like they have the counter spell. That's rough. But we do get to draw a path next turn, so hopefully that'll be able to deal with the Dragon Lord. The counter spells were key here, obviously. Take nine. Sometimes you have to force your opponent to have them. That was what we tried to do this game, and they had them. It's thinking a lot about this pick with Odatai, that's interesting. Add a charge counter. Okay, Coligan's command is going to be decent, I think, with destroying an artifact and discarding a card. <coughs> um, yeah, we'll add white, play out Sorin, see if it resolves. It likely will. Creating a 2-2 is going to be our best option here, although we could try to path first and see what happens there. Looks like this is getting spell covered. Interesting. Um, Alright, so I think we're just going to try to path here, see if it resolves. Spell Queller is fine. Pact of Negation. Alright, lots of counter spells. It seems like our opponent might have boarded that in. <coughs> um, we're not quite dead, so I'm not going to concede. I'm going to gain a life with the Corsair here before it dies. Um, but yeah, things are obviously not looking good. And in fact, I think we actually might be dead, considering we know the top card of our library. We could return Courser. Does that do things? Destroy Artifact, but we can't do that, and return Courser at the same time. Yeah, it looks like we're dead. So I'm just going to concede. Save time. Save you guys time. As well as me. Okay, so we're facing a lot of counter spells. I don't know if there's anything we can board for against that. I guess Tassiger might do decent work. Um, but other than that, maybe we could just board out some of our... Nah. Nah, Divination seems good. Kadama's Reach doesn't seem to be necessary. We could board that out. Is this an instant? It is. That's good. Um, hmm. I don't really think there's anything better in our board against counter spells than what we already have out. Maybe a Night Veil vale Specter could do some decent work. I'm, I'm gonna bring that in over Kodama's Reach. That might be wrong, but it's like another threat that we can kind of get in under a counter spell, so I think that's at least halfway decent. We will play first, we will mulligan, we will keep, and we will proceed. Looking for maybe like a Liliana or like a Mountain, something like that. That seems to be a top. We will play the Quagmire. And we'll probably fetch before we Oath, I'm guessing. Get a Blood Crypt, I think. Yeah, seems to be the right play. Blood Crypt. Pay no life. Oath. And hopefully set ourselves up decently well. Uh, that's not great. I think we do take a Shambling Vent here, though, just because it's more action, um, and we don't really care about having lands untapped. <coughs> so yeah. Now, all our Planeswalkers are colorless, which is pretty good. Ancient Tomb's powerful. Let's see what this is. Coalition Relic. Alright, we can kill that, which we probably should do. Um... Yeah, I think we just want to kill that this turn, so make the opponent discard. 
we really need to draw some action here, otherwise we're going to be pretty far behind. But hopefully we can maybe strand the opponent on our lands or have them uh, take a ton of damage with this Ancient Tomb, potentially. And we do have a Terminate to deal with one significant threat. Force of Will, okay. So this Coalition Relic seems pretty important to our opponent. That's, that was a good Force of Will, for sure. This was already a 2 for 1, but it basically saved on board advantage um, in exchange for in hand advantage. And the opponent already has the in hand advantage over us, so it's not like it's a constrained resource for them. Yeah, we, we got pretty wrecked by that, I will say. Alright, Atarka does decent things. We're not going to run in a Hissing Quagmire, especially if we can play a tap land. We really want to draw some of our Planeswalkers, depending on what this is. Alright, that's something we can terminate, although it's going to be annoying with the 1-1s. Uh, the one but we are going to terminate it before we untap either way. Alright, Path does things, but not great things. I don't know if we want to expose our lands to blocking here. If the opponent attacks, I'm going to guess that they have a removal spell, so I'm probably not going to block. Um, especially because we're at such high life total, but the opponent's deck doesn't actually have that much removal, so I could see it being correct to animate a land. I'm actually not sure what I would do if the opponent attacks. I would probably block, I think. I started that sentence thinking I would say not block, but yeah, opponent doesn't attack. Okay, so they don't have anything. That's good. Um, we can play Garrick. We want to leave up white, and probably red is a good thing too. Alright, that doesn't get counted, that's interesting. We're going to make a wolf. And we could potentially path a mirror to save Garrick if we wanted to. I wonder what the opponent has if they don't have counter spells and they don't have action spells. Could be lands, probably isn't lands though. Interesting. Future Sight. Okay, that's good. They can play that, I think. I don't think they play land this turn. Yeah. Okay, Hangerback Walker's gonna eat a path, probably. Hopefully we draw a land next turn so we can Atarka and start pressuring the opponent's life total. Alright, the opponent is attacking Garrick, so we have to make the decision here of whether we want to use path to have a Garrick out, or whether we want to have Garrick die. We could also use Path on our own Wolf, although I don't think that's going to be good. I don't think... I think we need to tempo the opponent, so I'm going to actually Path a Mirror, even though that seems very weird. I guess it also has the opponent shuffle their library, so we don't have to deal with the uh, Hangerback Walker. It's not exactly dealing with it, because we just have to deal with another card anyway. But, um, yeah, I'd, I'd rather have Garrick live here. All right, Ponder's going to be pretty good. And the opponent Ponders. Yeah, Putricide is just very, very good against our deck. Inquisition, not exactly optimal here. I don't think we have any great creatures to get. Um, actually, let me let me reference uh, our deck because it should be in the draft video I saved just to see what creatures we might have. Um, all right, we could get a Worm Coil Engine. That's actually pretty solid, or a Grave Titan. Yeah, this is why you check. Um, I think actually probably getting a Grave Titan is going to be our best chance to win here, so I'm going to do that. I should have attacked first, that was bad. It's two, two damage. If we lose this game by two damage, that sucks. I mean, it sucks right now because we are we missed out on two damage. That's how I should think of that. Um, yeah, Grave Titan. 
slam it, and hopefully the opponent just doesn't draw an answer in time and we can run away with the game. That's going to be the plan. Any land we draw also translates into an Atarka, which is good. Understatement of the year. Our Reflector Mage does decent work against Grave Titan. That'll that'll be annoying if we don't draw a land. It's kind of annoying even if we do. I don't know what the opponent's thinking about. I'm guessing Reflector Mage would be the obvious play, just because it gets them access to another card. So if they're thinking about it, they probably have an, a better way to deal with Grave Titan in their hand. That would be my guess, which is unfortunate. Alright, they're going to take more damage to copy Grave Titan before they bounce it. Taking a lot of damage, but we're not going to be able to kill that even with a Tarka, so that is pretty bad for us. Although Tarka can block it, even if it will die. I'm assuming we're going to draw land. Oh, they yeah, they have Counterspell on top. Alright, I think that might be it for us this round. Well, let's Inquisition first, see if they counter this. Okay, we get a Harbinger of the Tides. Big whoop. And we're going to try to ultimate price. Vencer, huh? That's also good. Yeah, I think that actually puts the nail in the coffin for us. We will I will uh, see you guys next round. <clears throat>